Luan, I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently, Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the fish eye. They've got their camps, but Butcher hasn't attacked the fish eye since never. Even he respected the night runner, so no fucking clue what's going on in his head. The butcher. Tell me more about him. The colonel. He's the leader of the renegades. He gave the order to douse the city in chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Saw my dad once in my whole life. And if mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. That's how you ended up in Waltz's program? <laughs> More or less. And your parents? Remember them? No. I just remember the hospital. Pain. And the fire. Right before they split me and Mia up. Is that why you're looking for her? She's the only family you got left? Let's focus on the job, okay? Okay, tough guy. Last one there's a rotten egg. I can't go alone. <laughs> What happened? I'm a pauper, brought low by my own family. Who? Yes, my own flesh and blood have brought me to this dreadful state. My own kith and kin. How can they be so unreasoning? So beguiled by phantasms? Woe betide them, woe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? My papa, my... Dear Papa, departed this veil of tears a month ago, and his siblings, my loathsome aunts and uncles, oh, I spit at them, went mad with grief. They traveled dark paths and found an infected with the power to raise the dead. Ever since, they've been offering valuables to the creature, beseeching it to bring back my dear departed Papa. They really believe that? Yes. They think their offerings will make the foul beast grandpapa a new life. Seems people need something to believe in, whatever it may be. And what does this have to do with your poverty? It is all papa's valuables they've taken to use as their offerings. When I tried to stop them, they threw me out of the house. I'll have nothing left. Only memories of papa and a gaping hole in my heart. I'd go to that altar myself, retrieve his belongings, but I'm a frail man. But you, you seem like a stout fellow. Perhaps you'd go there and retrieve his treasures for me. Well, if it means so much to you, I can try. Oh, lion-hearted. I will reward you a hundredfold. They make offerings in the evenings, so you have to go there under the cover of night. You'll find his belongings in willow-lined chests. You can wait here for the sun to descend from the sky. I'll be waiting for you in my crib on Lower Dam Air, on the garrison. The entrance is near the old hotel, by the canal. Farewell. E farewell.
I remember cleaning out a furniture store last year. <laughs> Didn't some big piece fall on you? Hey, not funny. That wardrobe was heavy, man. Just be glad you're alive. Damn renegades will stop at nothing. One day they might just blow up the dam and flood the entire city. everything. You're right, you bastard! You almost got my brother killed. I didn't mean for him to get hurt. But he did, because of you. Stop conning others to run your dangerous errands. If I so much as get a whiff, you pull this on anyone else, I'm turning you in. Hey. Who are you? Another one of this fool's errand boys? Whatever, I don't give a shit. I'm getting out of here. What's going on here? What was he talking about? Uh, you see, before the fall, uh, I was an actor. Not even a good one. Oh, bereft of a stage, I, I took my craft to the streets and became a con artist. But not a very good one of those either, as I'm still quite poor. Everything you said about your father, your family? Yeah, it was a lie. I had to convince you to retrieve those valuables for me. The legend of the creature is real. Well, as real as the bandits who invented it to trick people into offering up their valuables. They come by later and collect them. I didn't dare go there myself and risk them catching me. So I figured I'd have someone else go. I'm a greedy, lazy bastard. What do you want from me? Well, at least you're honest about one thing. I try. Sometimes. Like, now. You survived the ordeal. Keep the spoils for your trouble. As for me, the curtain's going down. <laughs> oh. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing, end them. To die, 
to sleep no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache. And? Well? Um, well, if you had a day job, I say not to quit it. Leave me alone, please. Hey, I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? Why do you want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when renegades attacked us. Rowe and the others, they got a few. Then they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up. I lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. Oh, fuck. Hey! There's some rats here! Be careful. Hide. Go to hell. Sure. Already leaving. <laughs> Aren't we, gentlemen? Let's get them! <laughs> safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Rome? Uh, camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof, by the junction with Newell's Drive. There's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. 
Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again. Luan, I've located Roe. Hotel by the New Walls Drive and Berrien intersection. Congrats. One big thing before the meeting with Roe. He's, He's got a fucking hair trigger temper. Yeah, Grady already warned me. As long as he has info on the GRE database, he can be as pissy as he wants. Brave man. We'll talk after you meet him. See you there. Not yet, but I ran across some renegades. Shit. Hang on. I'm on my way. Help me! Let's kick those renegades' asses! There's another one! Get him! Renegade or Taken care of. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? 
Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa Zelza brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five. Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? Listen, I'm just a messenger. Just calm down and talk. Oh, you don't think I'm calm, huh? I'm a fucking oasis of Zen. Nirvana fucking walking. Bartez's husband. How's he gonna keep calm, huh? When I leave her body on this godforsaken turf. Sierra and Brasco's mom? She's not gonna be calm to learn a boy's died here in vain. What should I tell him? All this for nothing just cause Matt signed a piece of paper and sent it to me? We do the real work out here, and it's nothing to Matt to take it all away with a smear of ink. Fucking total bullshit. I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important if idiotic business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. It fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database. And you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out? Or take care of it here and now? <laughs> Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. next next <laughs> didn't you hear that database sounds long gone so much for discovering the mystery of our childhood i'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list and you you can enjoy life in the center what's the deal with those renegades why did they attack the canteen how would i know williams is a fucking lunatic a butcher and murderer he killed half the city with a chemical weapon strike. Now he's ordering his men to attack civilians in the center. Right after Waltz turned on the power. Waltz and that psychopath are buddies. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned that together as well. Maybe Rose wrong. Maybe something survived intact after all. The butcher dropped chemicals. The place was reduced to toxic rubble. Are you giving up? Are you deaf or dumb? Those chemical bombs destroyed everyone and everything they touched. Ugh. This was a fucking waste of time. Frank was right. I am fucking naive. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list, they'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah. Thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, 
I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Luan. Sayonara. What are you ranting about, mister? Ranting? Son, I'm trying to safeguard our collective memory. I'm only trying to preserve history. Seems like a big task. Can one man even do that? I have a good background for that. For 30 years, I was a tourist guide. After the fall, I founded Villador's Historical Conservation Society. Eh, doesn't seem to be much to conserve around here anymore. Thank the renegades for that. Still, more than ever, we must remember our past. We must keep track. Otherwise, we'll slip into the Dark Ages for good. We can't build a future for humankind if we don't know our history. What do you say I ask you two or three questions about that? See if you've been paying attention. See if you do know our past. So. You ready to talk history now? I can try. Good. Let's start with one of the defining moments of our history. A tragic event that had such an impact it still defines how the city looks today. Here goes. What event went down in history as Black Monday? That would be the chemical strikes on the city 11 years ago. Correct. On January 6th, 2025, at 0800 hours, the butcher, Colonel Williams, decided to use a newly discovered chemical compound, the THV Gen Mod, to stop infection. Hope of reclaiming control of the city turned to tragedy. Millions of residents were killed. It also caused terrifying mutations of the infected, turning them into what we now call specials. The chemicals are still active today. Don't get near them. I mentioned the March Massacre before. Any clue what happened on this day? The army killed 64 civilians protesting against weapons confiscation. You actually have been paying attention. This is correct. This shooting was the beginning of escalation of riots in the city, which finally led to the fall of General Pratt and Colonel Williams taking over. The army confiscated all the guns and ammo. 
It all started there, south of Houndfield, by the Monument of the World Art Congress. The last question. Let's go for a moment out of Villador, taking a global perspective. Before mutating, THV was simply known as Haran virus. Haran is where it all started. But do you remember when the Haran events happened? In early spring, 2014. Bravo! I'm impressed, young man. Indeed. The virus emerged during Haran's Global Athletic Games in 2014 and went dormant after the city was quarantined. It was subsequently turned into an exclusion zone by the GRE. I remember those would-be games. I even took a week off to watch them. My country had many metal prospects. No one expected it would become hell on Earth. But that's the part everyone knows and never talks about, since it's what caused the fall. I commend you on your knowledge, young man. Never stop seeking more. And never forget, we're always just a few burning history books away from darkness. Here's a small token of my appreciation. Should teach you a bit about one of my favorite parts of the city. The catacombs. Poppies. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Talking to myself, that's all. I, mean, I can see something's the matter, but okay. It's just, there's nothing that can be done. There are too many of them. Too many who? Renegades. Degenerates. Six months ago, they kidnapped my son, Rook, and they forced me to produce drugs for them. I was the chemistry teacher in school before the epidemic. I held one of them back a grade. But what about your son? They're holding him hostage. If I'm late with the next batch of drugs, They'll kill him. Maybe what these bandits need is a lesson. But there's a whole band of them. I've faced far worse odds than that. I'm not a fan of kidnapping. Will you help me? Yeah, I'll try. Where are they keeping Rook? In a military building, overlooking the canal south of Muddy Grounds, near Culvert Island. The entrance is on St. Paul Boulevard, past the red car carrier. Just be careful. I went there myself once, trying to free my boy. They caught me. Then later brought me one of Brooks' fingers. As long as these bastards are alive, they'll never leave us alone. I'll be careful. I'll follow you. Wait outside for you to come out. What's your name? Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. <laughs> Slept a wink for six months. There. One day they must have worried about it.
All right? I'm, you know, yeah. They injected that shit into you. Who, who are, who are you? Aiden, your father sent me. Father? Ah, uh, uh, Dad. You're out of danger. I'll take you to him. No. What? I don't need you, Dad. Or anybody else. I'm doing fine here. Give me a needle. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You've got all your fingers. The bandits didn't cut one off. So it was all fake? Leave me alone. There was no kidnapping, was there? You've been tricking your own father into making you free drugs? Get out of here. How could you do that to your father? Didn't want this, okay? It's stronger than me. And now what do you want? You'd rather stay here like this than be with your father? Rook! Son! My boy! Finally, I've got you back. What is it, boy? Are you all right? Look, there was never any kidnapping. What? It was all a show, including that severed finger. 
But how could that be? Rook, say that's not true. I, I tried to kick it. I tried. I didn't want to keep taking. Then I started getting high with them. When I mentioned you, they realized you were their former teacher and a chemist. God, Rook. I wanted to stop, to end it, but they wouldn't let me. I'm sorry. Come back home with me. We'll talk there. Really? After all I did? You'll always be my son. Thank you. You can come out. They can't bother you now. What happened here? We were just working. And they attacked. Went for our supplies and cut down anyone in their way. Yeah, but not everyone. The others, where are they? I didn't see anyone else. They must have been taken. Oh, God. Maria. Robert. They took my friends. Have they been attacking other camps? Survivors from the camp to the south said that they were attacked today, too. They took food and the able-bodied young men forced them to join them, apparently. We all knew the renegades are nasty sons of bitches, but they kept their distance from us until now. You know where they would have taken your friends? The border between the butcher's turf and ours is close to here. That's where the renegades have their camp. Will you help them? Please? There are no peacekeepers here. No one to help them. I'll try. Thank you. Be careful. They might have outposts along the route. I'll guide you over the radio. My name's Casper.
That survivor was right. Something is really fucking wrong here. I'm at the first outpost. There's no sign of your friends. Oh, they must have moved on toward the camp. Uh, further west on Fulton Tower Road. Catch them before they get there. I'm on my way. No. Uh, I don't understand. They said the renegades are dangerous, but the ceasefire lasted for years. It's as if they no longer fear the peacekeepers. What changed that? Maybe we're about to find out. I'll be in touch. There's no one here either. They might have stopped at the overlook by the windmill on Garrison Boulevard. Hurry up. If they reach camp, it'll be much harder to rescue them. I'll catch up to them. Think I saw who was commanding those renegades. It was Elias. He was a survivor. Uh, lived in the area two years ago. He was a lawyer before the epidemic, a man of principle. Then he disappeared. There was a lot of talk about it. It disappeared? A year ago, this guy came sniffing around here. One of the butcher's men, they said. And that he worked for the GRE back in the day. He tried to talk people into going to the dam. Promised them weapons. The ones who did, never came back. When I saw Elias just before, he looked strung out. Like he was on drugs. His eyes, terrifying. As if there was no one left behind them. I'll look into it. We can't be 
I made it. All I found were some renegades here. So they made it to the camp. There's no saving my friends now. I'll scout out the camp and see what I find. I didn't dare ask, but we can't give up. Help them, please. Let these people go. Oh, don't think so, PK Puppet Boy. You're gonna strangle on your strings. Curtain's coming down on all of you. But we ain't got no strings. He cut us free. What the fuck are you talking about? The Master freed our bodies and minds. We now see that each time we strike down an enemy, we absorb their strength. Now you can join us, 
or you can meet your maker this very day. Why have you broken the truce? Power, my friend. In our unstrung state, we possess boundless strength, infinite power. Waltz, our master, has gifted us this power. Jack Matt and the puppet keepers tangled and strangled against us. Powerless. They're just a bunch of pathetic juicers. Thanks for the offer, but you're fucking nuts. You understand nothing. Get him! <laughs> Never forget this. This way, there's a side gate. Uh, hello, it's Aiden. Your friends are safe and sound. Thank you, Aiden. We are all deeply in your debt. Thank <laughs> you. 